Hello, and welcome to Vinchin. After deploying Vinchin backup and recovery in your environment, you will be ready to protect your workloads. In this video, you will know how to use the license and add backup storage before you can create a backup job in Vinchin and recovery. Type the IP address in a browser to launch the login console of Vinchin Backup and Recovery and use the account and password provided in the email to log in. After you log in to Vinchin Backup and Recovery, go to System, System License. For the free and trial version, just upload the license provided in the email. For the customized standard and enterprise version, you need to download the thumbprint, send it to our support team to get the specialized license, and then upload it here. After you successfully upload the license, you will be redirected to the login page to log in again. After coming back, you can start to add the virtual infrastructure. Go to Resources, Infrastructure, Virtual Platform, click Add. You can use Vinchin Backup and Recovery to protect more than 15 virtualization platforms, including VMware vSphere, Microsoft Hyper-V, Proxmox VE, Overt, OLVM, and so on. Please note that only VMware vSphere requires no installation of plugin on the host. If you are using the other virtualization platforms, please install the corresponding plugin on each target physical host which you want to protect. You can refer to our other videos for a detailed plugin installation demo. If you need to add VMware vSphere hosts, you can use the IP address and other information of vCenter, vSAN, or ESXi hosts to add them. For more details about adding other virtualization platforms, please see the user guide or help center on our website. After adding a host, you need to authorize it before you can back up the VMs running on it. Click License here, and then you can see how many CPU sockets you can authorize. Select all the hosts and click License. Now all the hosts are authorized. Now you are just one step before you can create a backup job, adding the storage to store the backup data. Still in Resources, select Storage and then click Add. You can add local partition or disk, logical volume, local directory, fiber channel via storage area network, ISCSI storage, NFS storage, or CIFS storage here to store VM backup data. Also, use the corresponding information to add the storage. After you add the storage, you can choose to format it here. Now, you can start to create a backup job for your VMs. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching.